Good afternoon, all. Today, we are making vapor rub. Now, I know I said that I was going to go live on YouTube today, but I've never went live before. YouTube has to approve it, you know, the whole follower thing. And yeah, so anyway, I'm going to record this video and upload it to YouTube. So today, we are making vapor rub. Don't judge my pot, y'all. This is my favorite pot. This pot has been riding with butter rub for a minute. This is my baby right here. It's on its way out, but don't judge my pot, okay? So you see, you're going to need a pot and you're going to need some water, okay? And you're going to need a Pyrex dish or a heat safe dish or bowl that, you know, when the water gets extremely hot, your bowl is not going to crack, okay? So you're going to need those things, but we are going to use olive oil and we're going to use sweet almond oil to make the vapor rub, natural vapor rub. Let me just say rub. And then you need a jar because you need to put your contents in the jar, right? So what we're gonna do is you're going to see, I am going to measure out a half cup of olive oil. So let me take this out of here because you know, I start getting it right, right away. So half cup of olive, right? Which is four ounces guys. Half cup is four ounces. And thank God for these kind of Pyrex cups because, honey, that's how I remember. <laughs> that is exactly how I remember. All right. And then sweet almond oil. Why olive oil? Why sweet almond oil? Your skin loves it. So this will make one full cup. So a half a cup of sweet almond as well. Eight ounces is one cup. So we got eight ounces going there. Yes, I have the stove on. So that's why you guys hear the crackling. Okay. Then beeswax so i do an ounce of beeswax but i did a little more than an ounce which translates to about three teaspoons so that would give you about an ounce so i did about four teaspoons because i want it harder the less beeswax you use the softer the rub the more beeswax you use the harder the rub so now we put it in here push it back because i had the stove on and just let it do what it do okay so while it's doing what it do let me show you my oils so i'm using peppermint essential oil i just started using this company half handcraft blend i like them they're pretty good you can find them on amazon pure peppermint essential oil premium it is really good it is right eucalyptus oil eucalyptus is good Eucalyptus opens up the airways. That's what you usually smell when you get the Vicks and the steamers and stuff like that. You're smelling the eucalyptus oil, all right? So I just chose to only use these two oils. You can mix the combination however you wanna mix it, however you wanna do it. This is your thing, so you do it your way. But my way is those two, two oils because, excuse me, I, don't break out with the oils my kids don't break out with the oils and we're good so you just get to stirring and i only have on gloves because it's my product that i'm making for my family but i just have on gloves for the professional appeal you know if you're making it for you and your family and it's not for sale you don't need to have on gloves i, I just do you know so you just mix and mix and mix right the water should be hot enough to melt down the beeswax okay so let's talk while this is happening. Let's have a discussion real quick. So you can't really see me because I'm over the stove. But you know I'm here. You guys know what I look like. So just listen, listen, listen. Let's talk about it. So lately, and I don't know if you guys have been feeling this way, but lately I've been feeling overwhelmed. I've been feeling like I'm not doing enough. I've been feeling like I'm just going, 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 going but I'm not seeing what I'm trying to see. And I'm talking about in general. I'm talking about, you know how you have just certain plans for your life and certain thoughts in your mind and you feel like, well, if I keep doing this and keep doing this, it's gonna happen, right? So I'm very faithful, okay? I know God got me. As you guys see by my post, I am a strong believer. And that is one of the main reasons why I keep going because I know better than how I'm feeling. So I want to share with you guys that you don't let the enemy in, okay? Do not let the enemy in because he will take 
when you start wavering in your thoughts and you start feeling like, oh, I'm doing this for no reason. I've been doing this for months, for years, and I don't see anything happening. Something is happening. I want you guys to pay attention. Something is happening. First and foremost, you wake up every morning. You wake up and you breathe in. There's tons of people that are not waking up. That alone lets you know that God has a plan for you. Two, consult God, okay? I'm all about God. So if y'all are not, feel free to unfollow, whatever. But God first for me always, okay? Um, but I'm still human. So you may get a cuss, cuss word now and then and you may see me turn up. I'm about God, but I'm not God. So let's not get it twisted, right? All right. And you know, like my boy Toby, I hit you. I hit you if I have to. But that's not what this channel is about. So let me stop being crazy. But serious, seriously, um, and I'm, I'm giving you guys this advice that I'm taking for myself of not letting the enemy in, okay? That is his end. When you start feeling weary and you start feeling like what you're doing is not mattering, uh, you're not going to get where God told you you're going to go. No, you're going to get there. It's just a matter of consistency, faith. Faith is key. You got to believe. Okay, you got to believe. So I talked to a few friends and family and we're all experiencing this type of thing where, again, we're human. We're believers, but we're also human and working, working, working and not seeing the desired results. It makes you lose your way sometimes mentally. The point of what I'm saying is hold on. Easier said than done. But like I said, go back to step one. You woke up this morning. What did you wake up for? You know you're not in control of waking up. <laughs> you're not in control of that breath that we take every day. We're not in control of that. Trust and believe. God is in control of that. So if he saw fit to wake you up and get you up out that bed, there's a reason. So that means that alone will tell you to keep going. So yeah, with me being overwhelmed, you know, I just made a decision. I said, you know, along with prayer... And saying, you know, God, what do you want me to do? Because a lot of times we're going, 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 and it's not in the will of God. God did not ordain or say, hey, go be a stripper. Or you, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. He didn't tell you that, you know. So you have to consult and say, hey, what do you want me to do? Where do you want me to go? A lot of us don't do that. And I was guilty of that. You know, I'm just learning that. And I've been on this earth for a while. I'm not going to my, divulge my age. But if you follow me on Facebook, you already know how old I am. Because you, you see my birthday and all that. But anyway, that's besides the point. Just keep going. Just keep going. So the beeswax doesn't take too long to melt. You know, especially if your water is hot. So I still have a little ways to go as far as the beeswax is concerned. Because you can see in the oil that at the top is still unmelted beeswax. I like my beeswax melted completely. At that stage, you can go ahead and mix your oils, jar it, but because it's for your home, it's for your family. That I'm not going to do, though. I'm sort of a perfectionist in certain things. I don't like that word anal because now, you know, <laughs> yeah, we're not even going to get on that. But yeah, perfectionist with certain things that I do. Like, I, I just like it to be a certain way, things organized a certain way. And, you know, that's just me. But yeah. So now that the beeswax is fully melted, okay? So it's in this oil. We will turn this off. Again, don't judge my trusty pot. My pot, it looked better than this. I mean, the handle didn't fell off over the years. and But this is my quick, you know, home type thing make it real quick get it done this pot is off the chain and it gets hot fast you know them old pots you know how it is you got the grandmamas and the mamas keep that old pot all right so i use 10 to 15 drops of each to make it strong i like it strong i like it to open up my nostrils and it doesn't hurt my skin i do feel a cooling sensation but that's it don't break out the kids don't break out and do an allergy test, guys. I want to tell you real quick. Put something in between your arm here, like whatever you're going to use, lotion, perfume, oil. You put it right here in the crease of your arm. 
this will break out almost immediately if it's something that does not agree with your skin. So that's how you do the allergy patch test. You just put it in between here. Um, if you're going for perfume or something, you want to see if it breaks you out, which technically I don't think you should put perfume directly on your skin. That's just my opinion. Put it on your clothes. Put it like under your arm area, on the sides, behind your knees, and, you know, stuff like that. But um, Google that. Look it up. But lotions, creams, things like that, before you want to buy, you want to try, put it in the crease of your arm, go walk around the mall for a while, see if you're itching, see if you're burning, then go back and buy it. Or walk around the store, either one. So I'm going to do 15 drops of peppermint, okay? Now, I don't usually count the drops, I ain't going to lie to you. I get to pouring, but I'm just telling you guys 15 drops, okay? I, don't, I didn't even count how many drops, but I know I just like it to be cool and feel good and... You know, I've tested this time and time again on me and my family's skin, and we have no issues. Now is an excellent brand also for your essential oils. You can get it at most health food stores. And you can also, if you have a fragrance oil, because I am a woman of fragrance. I love fragrance. So if you have a fragrance oil and you want to add like a little sweet touch to your vapor rub, you can definitely do that. So I'm stirring this up and I know people are like, okay, four o'clock you said on YouTube, sending out reels. Oh, another thing, prepare for the hiccups, guys. Prepare for the hiccups. Oh, I should have been trying to get the approval days ago. Your girl been busy, so I apologize. But like I said, I'll upload this to YouTube. And so you pour your oil in your jar. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to solidify and it's going to be a little harder than a jelly, right? Once the oil cools down, yeah, it's going to get hard and you store it in a cool, dry place. Now, if you store it in a hot place, what do you think is going to happen? Which is not a big deal, but it's going to turn back into oil. That's what's going to happen. So it's going to get really, really soft and liquidy. And then you'll just have to be careful opening your jar so it doesn't spill all over you. Of course, I've had that mishap. So thank you guys for joining me. Let me hurry up and get this posted. And next weekend, I will be going live for real because <laughs> I should be approved by then. But I just want to thank you guys for joining me. So again, you would use... A half a cup of sweet almond oil, half a cup of olive oil, 10 to 15 drops of eucalyptus oil and peppermint oil. Or you could do one or the other. You Again, your mix, what works for you. Allergy patch test. Remember that. Okay. And one ounce of beeswax, which I said I used a little more than an ounce of beeswax because I like my jars hard. I will do a post with a snippet of these when they get hard and solidify. I'm not going to keep you guys on here forever. I have a busy Saturday. I want to say thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening. And like I said, see, your girl is tired always. But it's all good. It's all tired for a good reason, honey. I will rest when it's time to rest. You feel me? But if you feel like you're going and you're doing it for no reason, you're not doing it for no reason. One, consult with God. Two, Remember why? Three, you woke up this morning. You woke up for a reason. Nothing is a coincidence. All right? You guys take care. Be blessed. Till next time. Thank you again. Oh, and on butterup.com, there's going to be a kit that you can purchase that you can just have your ingredients at home and do it for yourself and for your kids because natural is in guys natural been in but natural is in now more than ever so you can purchase a kit and inside would have a card that explains exactly what to do like how i told you what to do um your measurements and it will have the exact measurements in the box you'll actually have some extra stuff in there also so probably every three weeks to a month There'll be a new kit for us to create together with some fun surprises, okay? For my subscribers, you guys are going to get the ultimate discount on these kits. So subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you over there next weekend. Blessings, y'all. Bye.